If the thought of HTML, CSS, and PHP gives you a headache, but you still want a custom look for your website, you should take a look at a program called Art I Steer. It's available for both Windows and Mac at artisteer.com. You can download a trial version of the software to see how it works. Art I Steer makes it very easy to design a Joomla template. It also creates HTML templates, WordPress and Drupal themes, and more. In this tutorial, I'll give you an overview of how to use the software. First I'll go to the File menu to change the template type to Joomla so we don't see options that we can't use. If you don't have an idea already in mind for a design, select the Ideas tab and click Suggest Design. Keep clicking until you find something that is close to what you're looking for. I like the basic layout of this design. From here I could continue clicking Specific Suggest Options such as colors or fonts. There are also individual tabs where you can set the options. Color Themes allows you to select from predefined sets of coordinating colors. Once you've selected a color theme, you can adjust it by modifying any of the three main colors. You can easily change the font styles and sizes in the Topography section. The Layout tab gives you various options for the page layout. Notice that you don't have to actually click an item. If you hover the mouse over an option, the design will change to reflect that option. The Content tab allows you to change items like content margins, rounding of corners, headings, heading colors, and sizes. You can also set options for the metadata blocks for the articles. The Background tab obviously affects the background. Here you can easily change background textures, colors, gradients, and lighting effects. As you hover over different parts of the design, icons appear in the top right corner. The light bulb is for ideas. Click that to see different suggestions for that section of the design. Sheet is basically the container area for your pages. You can control the width, the shape, shadow and transparency from the Sheet tab. The Header tab allows you to change the header image, background of the header, and the site title and slogan. You can also change any of these items individually. The menu tab controls the horizontal menu. You can easily position the menu above or below the header. You can control the style, size, and color of the menu items. The software supports submenus also. These can be styled from the sub item section. Blocks are what are known as modules in Joomla. You can click the light bulb to see various suggestions. And again, you can control each item individually through the options on the ribbon bar. As of this version of the software, you're only able to create one module style. You could create your own module class suffixes, but you would need to code them yourself outside of Artister using the same technique I used in the custom template tutorial. You probably guess what the vertical menu tab is for. Here you have the same options for styling vertical menus as for the horizontal menus. 
Button styling applies to the Read More buttons and buttons in modules such as Polls. Last but not least is the Footer. From this tab you can control the size, position, and formatting of the footer. You can also display an RSS feed icon. When you have all the details of the design looking the way you'd like, click the Joomla Template tab at the top of the program window to export the template. Set the Joomla version. This allows you to control the naming of the module positions. I prefer the left, right, top, bottom. Click the Options tab. You can load a fav icon from a file or select one of the ready-made ones. Description allows you to enter your name, website, and information about the template. From the footnote tab you can control whether you want a link to the author and to the CMS and Artista in the footer. Select the folder for export. You can export to a folder and zip it yourself or you can have Artista create the zip file for you. Here's the folder that was exported. It contains quite a few more files than the custom template I created. I'll create a zip file of the folder and I'll install the template in Joomla. I adjusted a few module positions from our Cooking with Kids site so the content would display with the new template. Obviously I didn't take much time or put much thought into creating this template. You can create some very nice looking templates with Artista. They have a page of samples on their website. As you can see it's very easy to create a Joomla template with Artista so why isn't everyone using it? In order to create a Joomla template, you have to purchase the standard version of the software, which at the time of this tutorial is $129.95. That may be a bit pricey if you only need to create one template. Artistier provides these module positions. While those should be adequate for most websites, sometimes it might be difficult to get an unusual design to fit into that framework. Overall, though, it's a great tool to quickly design attractive templates for a variety of platforms.